Hello and welcome to MySQL for Beginners Lesson 3. Today I'm going to show you how to write a simple PHP script that will search a database. Before we can write the script, we need to uh, create our database and populate the database with some generic data. The way we can do this is by going to localhost, our web server page, and then under tools, clicking on PHP My Admin. We can then create a new database. We'll name this uh, random data. And uh, once that's been created, we can actually create our um, table. And we'll name this random table. And we'll have four fields. Um, then we can click go. Uh, the first field will be name. Second one will be surname. Email is the third one, and finally, gender. The types, all of them will be variable character. And the lengths, we'll put name 20, surname 20, email 40. Some people have some pretty long emails. Uh, and gender 6, since female contains only 6 characters, which is the maximum um, characters. Um, once we've done this, we can save. And now all we have to do is populate the data with a, some, a few rows. So we can do this by clicking on the Insert tab. Um, John Smith, some really generic data, Smith, whatever, dot com. Gender male, John is a male's name, approximately. Uh, yeah, and then um, one more, uh, one or two more. Jennifer, surname Jones, email jj at gmail.com, gender female, and go. And one last one, mm. Judy Jackson, uh, Judy at gmail.com. And female for the gender. All right, now we can actually write the um, the PHP code. All right, so here's a preview of the final final um, script. Basically, it will allow the user to find all the entries, all the rows in the table uh, of our, in our table um, that are either male or female. So if one clicked on male and clicked on go. It would return a list of all the rows which contained data about people that were male and the same thing with female but for female. Um, so now we just need to write the PHP code that will make this happen. So if we look in Notepad++, we've got our standard HTML form, some radio buttons. Um, this shouldn't be anything complex for you. Right now, the first thing we need to do is write the PHP code to receive the data from the form. Um, so the action is on the page itself, so we can write the code there, and uh, the method is get, so we have to use dollar sign underscore get. So if we've got a get request coming onto the page, we want to store the, that data in a variable named gender. So we know that the form sends a piece of data that's named gender and can contain either the value of male or female. So whenever the submit button is pressed, that data will get sent and stored into the variable called gender. So gender will contain either male or female. Now we want to use that to return the results from the database. So we need to first connect to the database. This has been covered previously. Uh, just skip ahead, Mike. Um, just skip right ahead there. It's just basic stuff we've already done. Now, if we've successfully connected, we need to select the database. And we named our database random data. And the connection is stored in the connect resource. Right. So after the database is, is uh, selected, we need to run the query. We will store the query in a variable because it's quite long. 
the query is select star star means select everything um, from the table random table and uh, here's where something new comes in the where clause so select everything from random table where gender is equal to and then we need to specify the parameter uh, not the parameter the what 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 it should be equal to so we actually attach our variable gender if the person has selected male it will get sent via get request the string male will get stored in the variable gender and then the query will contain select everything from random table where the gender is equal to male and um, from there we can actually display the results so if we store the results of the query into a variable called results right so it's going to execute the query and then uh, store the results in the results variable now all we need to do is while we'll create a variable called row is equal to this was covered in the previous tutorial so I need to explain this and then we just want it to display the first name and then on the next line the second name And then finally, the email. And we can add a few break tags to that. Just to make it look a bit easier to read. Um, and that's it. Let's go test out test it out in Google Chrome. Right, so let's refresh quickly. All right, there's been a pass error. Uh, if we go back onto line seven, we can see that. Oh, yep, yeah, I did make an error. Sorry, uh, must have been bugging you. <clears throat> so we just add this little dot there. Go back to Chrome, refresh. All right, um, let's say we want to find all the mail. We click go. So we've just got one mail, John Smith's, and um, if we want to find all the female. If we go again, I've got those two. Obviously, this is just a simple example. You can apply the concept to anything your database needs. Um, it doesn't have to be gender. It doesn't have to be about strings. It could also be about, about true or false or numbers, integers, that is.